But why though? <laughs> Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today I am sharing with you a haul that I had picked up on Facebook Marketplace. This was $25 I spent on a lot of salt and pepper shakers. And there's a little bit of drama to go along with this, but we'll go ahead and get into the happy part and share what I do have here. So yeah, I wasn't really sure exactly what these might be worth individually but I figured at about a dollar a pair I couldn't really go wrong and you know I wasn't really sure what I was getting exactly I did see the one photo with everything in it and I saw a couple that piqued my interest so I was like you know what I want this set for myself I know someone's gonna really enjoy these ones and we'll go ahead and take a chance on the rest so let's go ahead and see what was in the box lot so here are the first ones. They are these white pineapples. See the little shaker tops there and they have the plastic plugs. They're obviously a modern set, but I think they're really nice and would look good with a neutral farmhouse decor type home. So I think a lot of people will be interested in these ones. Next up, we have these little kitty cats here. It looks like the colored part of them have been cold painted on. And so, you know, some of where the black little booties are is, you know, there's a little bit of paint wear coming off because it is cold painted. It's typical of that kind of technique for that not to stick around too long, but it does give it a nice age look, but they're a good size salt and pepper shaker. They got a little weight to them and they seem to be in pretty good condition. So I also think these ones will do pretty well. We have some wind pigs fly shakers here. They are the pigs with the little angel wings on them. <laughs> Pretty cute. And they do have the stoppers, but they're stuck inside. I can hear them rattling in there. So if you guys have any techniques on how to get those out, let me know. <laughs> those are pretty cute there. Here we have some glass ducks. And one is missing the stopper, unfortunately, and it's kind of an unusual stopper. You see, it's pretty wide there. So these ones might end up just having to be for decor for somebody. And I feel like oftentimes people collect salt and pepper shakers like these and use them for decor anyway. So I don't think it's probably the hugest deal, but I think these will still find a home, someone that can appreciate them. These ones here are vintage Japan. They do have the cork bottom stoppers there and they're marked Japan. And they are shaped like a old bottle here and they have like a little farmhouse and they have an adorable little chick on the side here. You see that? Super cute. They are both marked. This one says salt, that one says pepper. So I really like these. It's definitely one of the better ones I got, I think. These next ones, never in a million years would I ever think someone would have designed these into salt and pepper shakers, yet yeah, here we are. So we have a urinal and a toilet <laughs> salt and pepper shaker. This only has one little hole in it. Why is that? <laughs> this one has five holes. So I've never seen a salt shaker with just one hole before. They do have the plugs in the bottom. This would be a pretty funny gag gift if you guys do like Yankee Swap or something like that at Christmas time. They're pretty hilarious, but to actually use them, eh, <laughs> I don't know if I would use them, but they're pretty funny. You guys are going to have to help me out and tell me what animal this is. I would say it's a reindeer just because it has a Christmas theme to it, but... I guess this one kind of almost looks like antlers on the back. This one definitely does not look like a reindeer though. What are they? <laughs> anyway, they do have the plastic stoppers. They're a modern set. They're pretty cute, but I have no idea what this animal is. Help me out. <laughs> These ones are super rad. They are little mason jar shakers. How fun. They do appear to have some age to them. I don't, you know, I don't ever sell salt and pepper shakers, so I don't know the age, 
but they have those old, I believe it's aluminum toppers and they're in pretty good shape. Usually when I see them, they're all rusted up, have a lot of wear, but these are nice. So it says Mason's patent, November 30th, 1858. And it is marked that on both sides. And yeah, they seem to be in great shape. I really like these ones. Squirrel. <laughs> we have a squirrel and what I'm assuming is an acorn, though it kind of looks like a chocolate cupcake. <laughs> it does have a little uh, stem though, so I suppose it's an acorn. They do both have the stoppers. This one again, the stoppers inside of it. And yeah, they're definitely a super modern piece, but they're cute, but they're really nice in a fall display. These here are more my style. I like the roosters. I like that they're two different colors as well. I really like this black one. You see the detailing on his wings. It's almost like a, not really a paisley, but like a floral there. And yeah, those are really fun. Definitely a good set there. This set here is kind of a dud because the bottom one is cracked. I had asked her what kind of condition they were in, if there was any chips or anything, and she said maybe on a couple of the older ones, but they're all in pretty good shape. But that's a pretty serious crack. No one's going to be able to use this one. So this set is kind of a dud. I mean, I guess I could sell just the one shaker here. We'll see, <laughs> but this is not gonna work, so. They're kind of cool though, they have a nice loon on it, so for just decor purposes, they will work, but as a shaker, not so much. I was really excited about this set here. It has Santa and Mrs. Claus kissing on a bench. <laughs> How fun. These are cold painted, so they have a slight bit of paint wear, but not too bad. Santa's actually in pretty good condition. It must just be Mrs. Claus. We're doing all that hard work. <laughs> so on her little boots there is a little bit of black and then we're under a dress. A little bit of red coming off, but overall pretty good condition. These are made in Taiwan, so probably around the 1980s, late 70s. It came with a little bench to sit them on. I like when they have the little seats and they're kissing. That's so fun. <laughs> I really like those. These ones here definitely have some age to them and they actually unscrew from the metal part so they don't have stoppers in the back. You put, put it inside here somehow and they unscrew. This top is plastic and the bottom is like an aluminum and they seem to be in pretty good shape for what they are. I mean, they have a little bit of wear and patina but they're cute little oil lamps, right? Isn't that what they're supposed to represent? Very different. I could definitely see these used as decor. There were a couple of these sets of potato barrels here. I call them potato barrels. We have some in Maine. That's what they make up north in the county. And you know, they have a big potato production up there. The school kids up in the county, actually there's two solid weeks that they don't go to school, you know, in times past. And they would go harvest the potatoes as part of the curriculum up there because they just needed the help, right? The farmers did. And anyways, this is what they would usually put the potatoes in but these don't have stoppers in them. I wouldn't say I would use these for shakers. They are old though. I mean, look at the wear on that. They're really cool for decor. They do have like a aluminum topper, but you would have to put some tiny, tiny cork in there. Well, that's those ones there. And the other ones, what do they say? These ones say souvenir of New York. Interesting. Okay, so it's probably the same deal as the little corks, but. Yeah, not my favorite, but some people definitely probably enjoy those. They definitely have serious wear to them, but some people prefer that look. We have a couple of little bunnies here. She does have a little paint nick on her pink nose, unfortunately, but I don't think it's too serious. I probably could fill that in with a little pink polish, no problem. To touch her right up, they do have the little plugs there. And yeah, I think those would be really cute for Easter time. Definitely a nice dainty size just to add to a shelf or something like that.
This one here is just a little rogue rooster. It's only a single, but like I said, a lot of people like to use these just for decor. So I think someone would still want it. It has two holes. So I assume it's a salt shaker, but it's a really, you know, nice figurine. You don't have to use it as a shaker. I think it'll still do okay. This one here is one of my favorites. It has the pepper shaker on the bottom. So it's a two piece set, but it just sets in like that. It's like he's popping out of his egg and then he has the shaker there. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I really like that one, super cute. And then we have this adorable set of foxes. Perfect for fall, love those colors. This one here in the rust orange has a little paint wear on his ear. It's not a chip, it's just where the paint has come off a little bit and at the end of his tail. But this one here, I don't see any issues to it at all. But I don't think that really takes away from it. I love their faces, they have a great look, so. Very adorable. And then we have these pretty plump hens here. So I think they're going to be laying a few eggs soon, <laughs> but I really like them. They have a nice look, a nice neutral color and the little shakers back there, nice good size. And then there are these pumpkins here. They, again, there's a couple of paint wear spots up on the stem, but it's not too serious really. One right there as well. But these are obviously really nice for the fall time and would be cute as part of your tablescape if you do a nice little centerpiece. They look really adorable there. These ones are pretty fun. They actually have the John Deere logo on the front there. And I like when they do that, they cut out the salt and pepper in little P's and S's. I think that's really fun. It's my favorite. Adorable little chicks and definitely very farmhouse. So I think these are probably one of the better ones as well. I know John Deere stuff sells for decent money, so I should be able to make some of my money back on these guys. Then we have these little chicks as well, and still adorable, just doesn't have the John Deere on it, right? It does have a little bit of paint wears, like a little bit of the white coming through there, so they didn't exactly stain that correctly, <laughs> but it's still a cute little set there. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with these are. It obviously looks like a beer bottle and it even has the deposit on the back of it. So you could return it for the five cents refund. You guys have to let me know. I always found it interesting. In Maine, we have to pay a five cent deposit on bottles any kind of like soda, water, juice bottles we purchase, we always pay five cents extra. Then we have to save them and return them to get our money back. So it's kind of recycling, it encourages recycling here. And there's only a few other states that ever is on the back of the bottles. So if you guys don't return your bottles, what do you guys do with them? Do they just end up in the trash? It seems so weird to me. I've always done it. So it's just weird that there's only a few states that do that. Anyway, this might be something they turned into salt shakers. It does have a little shaker thing on the top there, but maybe they intended it for these to be shakers and they made the bottles that way. I really haven't a clue, but I suppose these would be really cool and like on a bar cart, people put salt and margaritas and stuff like that, right? So maybe they could use it for that or for barbecues, right? It'd be kind of fun for that. These guys here have seen better days. This is pretty nasty. The corrosion, it's rusted. That's not, that's not salvageable. <laughs> this one's not too horrible, but these are going to definitely go in a dud pile. Those will not be sold. I, I seriously doubt anybody would want them. If you, if you guys are interested in them, let me know. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. I really like these ones too, the little chefs. I actually have a napkin holder that I plan to list with these two here as a full set. I think it'd be really cute. I, you know, I wouldn't even mind using these in my own kitchen. I really like this kind of stuff. So I don't know, do you wanna hang on to them? Maybe. <laughs> I think I will go ahead and list them with my napkin holder as a set. I think they'll do really well. 
and people that actually use this as their main kitchen theme will really get to enjoy them. So I think these will be a good sell too. Okay, so story time. Like I said, I was checking out Facebook Marketplace, looking for Halloween items, happened upon this lot, and I was thinking, that's a pretty good deal, you know, doing live sales and stuff. People like smalls like this. So for $25, given the amount of shakers there were, I figured I could make my money back and make some people happy. And so there was two shakers in the set that particularly got my interest. There was a set of flamingo ones, which I knew you guys would like. I like myself. And then there was a little corn on the cob set that kind of lays out and they kind of stick together like that. And those are the two I mainly saw. And I was like, well, the flamingo ones will probably, you know, I can probably get 10 to 15 for those alone. So it'll, it'll be worth it if the rest are duds. I mean, I wasn't sure of the condition. And as you guys saw, some of the condition wasn't the best. Some of them had some chips. One had a crack, you know, somewhere. So... I kind of reasoned that. I was like, yes, I will get it because I think those ones will be okay. And like I said, I asked her what kind of condition they were in and it appeared that they were gonna be fine. So I sent my husband to this person's house. She wanted us to meet there and he was, you know, in the neighborhood heading home. So he dropped by, picked up the box. I mean, it was just a box filled with shakers. He assumed everything was in there. I mean, why wouldn't it be? And then I didn't really look at him until Saturday and I started pulling them out to film this and kind of go through them and get ready to list them and whatnot and I noticed after I got them all out I'm like where are the flamingos <laughs> that was the first one that like stood out to me the flamingos are missing in it and I was like oh no so I checked the picture I was like what else wasn't included that was in the picture and then I saw the corn on the cobs the two that I wanted were not in there those are the ones I wanted the most so I was like what am I gonna do I was like did she have someone be interested in just those and she sold them separately and just left the main picture up and never noted otherwise that they were missing. I didn't know what happened. And so I messaged her and told her, you know, hey, I just bought these shakers from you and I noticed that the flamingos and the corn cobs were not in, you know, the ones you give me. And they were in the picture and I waited I think she messaged me back about three hours later and she said oh yes I found them the other day I was going to text you <laughs> so I never had received the text you know if it, personally if it was me and it was a, by accident I saw that I would have texted right away I'm like oh no I found these they were supposed to be in your lot how can I get them to you and but she, I never received a message from her so I was like okay can I, you know, drop by and pick them up or whatever? I'm heading out for lunch and, you know, I can meet you in about 15, 20 minutes or so. And she didn't message back for like another two or three hours. And she said something about, you know, being out, she wasn't going to be home. And she never gave me like when she, I would be able to pick them up or anything like that. So I'm still, as of now, in limbo waiting. I was happy that she still had them and I'm probably going to end up with them, but it's just a little annoying. <laughs> And I don't know why those two in particular weren't in the lots. Had they been any other ones here, I probably would have never noticed and it wouldn't even bothered. But those are the two I wanted. So who knows why they didn't end up in the box if she had pulled them herself and she was trying to see, you know, hey, maybe she won't notice or if it was legit a mistake. I don't know. But hopefully I'm able to pick them up sometime soon and get those. It was a little disappointing, to say the least. I was a little frustrated, but yeah, that's my drama, my salt and pepper shaker drama. <laughs> so let me know which shakers here were your favorite down in the comments below. And I'll try to include a photo of the flamingo ones and corn on the cobs if I can find it, or maybe just the main picture that I saw. And you guys can kind of see what I was looking at. And yeah, I'll update it if I happen to get them in my possession before this video goes up. I will definitely try to update it and show you guys. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. A lot of these might end up in my next live sale on Wednesday night. So if you're interested, definitely check that out and we will catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.